There are no shortcuts to success. In fact, success is a beautiful combination of hard work, determination and consistency. और यही सारी चीज़ों का मैलगमेशन आज एक स्टूडेंट के अंदर मुझे डेफिनेटली दिखा सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू ऋषिकेश हाय ऋषिकेश गुड आफ्टरनून मैम How are you doing? I'm good, ma'am. How are you? Good, good. Thank you so much. So, Rishikesh, first of all, congratulations for doing so well in your exam. How do you feel? Um, I feel great about it, ma'am. And um, as I look back at the two years that um, I've spent in NEET preparation, um, I feel very glad and I feel um, very proud also. And I'm sure many of my my parents and I'm glad to make my family proud. Absolutely, we are also proud of you, Rishikesh. In fact, you mentioned your family, right? So let's talk about them. Who all are there? Uh, is there anyone in your family who's a doctor, and that is the reason you saw the dream of becoming one? Um, neither of my parents is a doctor, ma'am. Both are software engineers. But um, some of my cousins and some of my mother's cousins are doctors. And uh, as a child, I had been in touch with them, and um, I felt inspired at that time. That um, I felt doctor being a do- becoming a doctor was a very noble profession. and um, i have been very clear about becoming doctor since i was um, about 9 years old and since then my goal hasn't changed i've been steadfast about being a doctor and i've worked towards that goal ever since absolutely in fact uh, you know having a dream at such a young age how was it like and what was your preparation like how did akash baidu's enter in your life at that time um when i was that young i mean uh, about 9 or 10 years old i didn't have any solid plan i was not exactly aware of uh, how to prepare specifically for medicine i was always interested in maths and science and i prepared at a high i always tried to prepare at a higher level and uh, i joined akash baiju's in class 11 and um, the kind of support i received from akash baiju's it was really amazing i never imagined that um, it would be so in fact akash baiju's became my second home and um, Initially when I was in class 10th and when I had decided to join Akash when we had decided to join Akash I thought it would be very stressful and we had to study 24 by 7 we would not get time for relaxation and the two years would be completely I would be immersed in studies but ultimately I realized that that was not the case Akash bhai jo's um, they were all of them were very supportive and um, I never felt stressed and I never felt it was a burden I enjoyed thoroughly the two years of my journey So uh, Rishikesh if I have to ask about Akash Bai Juice when did you decide that this is going to be my place and you know this is going to be one platform jo mujhe mere dream se introduce karayega Um I had given anthe in class 10 ma'am and in that I secured all India rank 19 and um, at that time we visited our closest Akash center and um, they briefly told us about Akash all the procedure and um, how the exams would be conducted how the classes would be conducted at that time we realized that Akash would be a suitable place and um, it would help me become a doctor so i joined akash bhai jis in class 11 for two year medical and when i was in class 10th i was under the impression that um, i would spend the entire two years in just studies and uh, it would be very stressful no like ghor tapasya type but ultimately i realized that it was not stressful i mean i enjoyed the journey it was i didn't feel stressed along the journey and um, constant support rendered to us by the akash faculty members and um, all the members of akash bhai jis and i'm very thankful to them for this Wow. So tell me, what was your strategy like that helped you enjoy the journey and not get stressed about it? Um, I studied regularly, ma'am, and um, uh, since the first day, I used to revise the concept taught in the class so that it would become perfect and crystal clear in my mind. I used to solve all the problems without delay. I never used to um, procrastinate. I used to solve the problems in the package as soon as the concept was taught in the class so that um, I would get the best out of. package and class and uh, whenever i had any doubt i used to watch i tutor videos where the concept was explained beautifully with the help of um, graphics and um, videos and that helped me strengthen my weak topics now that you mentioned about weak topics so let me take you to that phase you know when you were not feeling very confident about your scores and your performance so how did you overcome that phase I used to get rattled ma'am when my scores were low especially during the last leg of my journey. I used to feel uh, why am I committing these mistakes even now? I should have been perfect and I should get 720. But um, ultimately after listening to my seniors the toppers of previous year and uh, my teachers as well, I realized that learning is a continuous process. It is not something which ceases beyond a point and um, we become perfect. I used to make mistakes even in my last exam. But I used to learn from them and I used to um try to learn the concept in such a way 
that um, I would not repeat the same type of mistake in the next exam. For example, if I made a mistake in some diagram based questions, I used to learn all the diagrams of the textbook. But um, the syllabus is very vast, there are almost 100 chapters and it's very difficult to become perfect with them. Tests are not a means of checking your uh, performance all the time. They are more of a means to evaluate where you are going wrong and to expose your weak topics where um, you are likely to make mistakes in the final exam. So these are the ones which can reduce your errors and uh, just learning, learning is not going to be as effective as learning along with tests. So I noticed you said this uh, amazing thing that you know learning is a continuous process so I'm sure this journey is still ongoing, you're still learning and unlearning also a few concepts. So any neat aspirant who's watching this video and you know maybe looking for that right motivation and right guidance from you of course, so what tips kya honge? Um, the first and foremost thing I would like to say is not to get rattled if you make errors. Everyone makes errors. I don't think there is anyone who has not made errors. And um, even if you're talking about errors, it's not like um, there is someone who has stopped making errors beyond a point. I'm sure everyone has made errors till the last day of their exam. And um, the second thing is you should be confident about yourself. You should be confident about your preparation. NEET is an exam where you are testing both your knowledge and your mental stability and you should be very clear about how much you are learning and what you are learning. It is very important to know what is relevant and what is not relevant because um, there is every subject has such a vast ocean of knowledge and it's not possible for everyone to do everything. I see a lot of clarity in your thoughts you know while you're talking. So tell me have you thought about your future? What do you want to do specifically in medicine? Um, I have not decided very concretely about it yet ma'am, but uh, I do plan to become a cardiologist. Any specific reason for uh, thinking of cardiologist? Um, I have noticed that today the major ailment which um, ails our society is um, cardiac problems. So many people suffer from cardiac problems and uh, I hear of c people who pass away due to cardiac arrest and they don't get treated on time. I feel really sad when I hear such stories and I want to make as much difference to the society as possible. A very noble thought, Rishikesh. Now, uh, serious talks, forget it because you know the phase is over. Let's talk about some excitement, fun, and you know the importance of taking breaks during your studies. Did you uh, take those breaks, and will you ever suggest this to a student who is preparing for NEET? Surely, ma'am, because I believe, uh, and this is from my own experience, that continuous learning without breaks, if you study for hours together, your efficiency is naturally reduced. So you should not study and just keep reading for four hours, five hours. That is not going to be as productive as um, studying for some period, say one hour and taking a break of a short period of time, say 15 minutes and 20 minutes. So that is very much required if you, the concept has to be fixed in your head. Because first, you take it into your head and then you have to assimilate it. You have to give time for your brain to assimilate it. So for that, you have to distract yourself for a short period of time, not for very long. And you can resume after that. That is going to be the most effective strategy. Okay. Thank you Rishikesh for this wonderful conversation. I loved talking to Rishikesh because he was honest and he was very very nice about you know expressing his flaws and his entire journey is no less than inspiration for me. Bahut saare log stories to sochte hain, sapne to dekhte hain, lekin ek right platform unhe nahi mil pata. If you are also looking for that right kind of guidance then we are waiting for you because you can always visit our website. It is akash.ac.in.